Today in the news, we got a few Intel stories and some console ones. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with Intel. We've been waiting for news on their XE graphics for a while now, and I don't mean leaks, I mean actual news from the company, and it seems like we might get some pretty soon. The Intel Graphics Twitter account tweeted a little something on Friday saying, and I quote, you've waited, you've wondered, we'll deliver. In 20 days, expect more details on XE graphics. Now the closest conference to that timeline, which could be uh, done in August, would be Hot Chips 2020, which is from the 16th to the 18th. Maybe Intel messed up on the tweet scheduling. Anyways, hopefully this means their 10 nanometer process is in check enough that we'll get some information on the discrete cards they're planning for the consumer market. Also with Intel, we got some Rocket Lake news. The information comes from Moore's Law is Dead and was later confirmed by Rogame on Twitter. The Rocket Lake architecture, which backports the Willow Cove core into 14 nanometers, now called Cypress Cove, would bring an IPC increase over Skylake of give or take 10%. On top of that, the final clock speeds would still hit 5 gigahertz plus. Last week, we saw Intel making progress on that front with an eight core CPU just about hitting five gigahertz. And lastly, the TDP of these chips will be high, which is no surprise given the current situation with Intel's 10th gen currently at 125 watts. Rocket Lake will be interesting. With Intel's pretty bad situation and delays, they're going to have to change something. And I know I've been saying this a lot, and I know they haven't delivered on it, but I sure hope that they will do something about the pricing. I mean, AMD is outselling Intel insanely right now. And lastly, with Intel, they finally launched their gap-filling CPU, the 10850K. As you can expect from the name, it sits right in between the 10700 and 900 series, if you can call them that, and the specs are pretty similar to the 10900K. All of the clocks from base to thermal velocity boosts are down 100 megahertz, though. As for the price, it's about $20 cheaper than the 10900KF, which honestly is a little bit odd. I'm guessing that their silicon for the 10900K is hit and miss, so they basically need to use that uh, extra silicon. In Microsoft news, we got a new controller for the next gen consoles, a white controller. Now as is, this could be a color option for the Xbox Series X, which means we might get a black rectangular prism or a white one that won't fit into your entertainment center, or it could be a controller associated with the rumored Series S. Anyways, it does look pretty good. Speaking of white consoles, the PS5 might have something up its sleeve in terms of customization. Some pictures appeared on the Chinese social site A9VG. Those pictures show the side panels of the PS5 and they look like they can be popped right off. Matt McLaurin from Sony did say in a LinkedIn comment, which has now been deleted, that the PS5's design would be customizable in ways that other consoles weren't. So maybe that's what they were talking about. I wonder if the components are exposed under the uh, panels, that way it could make for some interesting windows for the console. And next up, we got the free game check. It's been a while since we've done one of these. On the Epic Store right now, you can get Next Up Hero, a nice little dungeon crawler with hand-drawn heroes. You can also get Tacoma, a space station story-driven game, which looks really interesting. And starting on Thursday this week, you can get 20XX, a roguelike platformer that you can play with a friend, Baroni, and Super Brother Sword and Sorcery. So yeah, go get them while they're free. And that is pretty much it for the catch-up, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here. To subscribe to the channel, stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. I keep telling myself I'm insane. You keep telling me that I'm all fine. I keep telling myself I'm insane. You keep telling me that I'm all fine.